The Death Egg Boss. So, Eggman will have different patterns here. He'll become electric, and you will only be able to hit him while he's firing a shot. He will aim differently depending on where he's standing. For instance, because he's standing in the bottom right corner, he fires straight. Because he's in the top right corner, he fires, fires di di diagonally. Diag di 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 God, I am doing terribly. Oh, hey, single ring. As you might guess, this fight is both easy and hard depending on your timing. You can see how many hits I'm getting in, though. This battle is just learn the technique and then you're done. Also, you can possibly get a hit while he's in there. Also, in the bottom left corner, he does that spread shot. I forgot to mention what he actually did down there. Which means you can actually hit those, by the way. Ow. You can actually hit the spread shot he does, and it's not even an issue. Just as long as you keep jumping, you won't actually get hurt. Or at least I didn't when I got hit by it. Uh, unless you're me like that lying, apparently. <laughs> well, that's embarrassing. Nice to know that a boss who I found was really easy just killed me. And again, he didn't turn off his invincibility for some reason. So I just got five hits in. And I don't even know why you would bother standing in the middle when he's doing that attack. Just get under him. It's really easy to dodge. Come on. Seriously, this battle is nothing to worry about so long as you're patient and you keep your ring count up. Unless you're me, apparently. Filthy wire. Crap. I'd already jumped. I guess you just didn't want to turn off his invincibility there. I swear, if I get hit by that top right one, I'm gonna be ashamed of myself. Oh, crap. And I'm a filthy liar, it's really easy to get hit by that attack. And crap, I can't hear anything. Which means you guys probably can't. Hopefully I didn't just screw up my recording in any way. What the? I thought I had... Rings. Oh. And now I can't control my game. And I get hit by it because my... Well, I'm... I started hitting something on my, uh, mic. And that made it so that I had to fix something on my keyboard to change my audio. And then I alt-tab by mistake. Well, nice to know I died three times on a boss who I thought was pathetically easy. Awesome. Amazing, really! Crap. Yep, I got game over because... Oh my god. I'm sorry, guys. I'll be right back. Alright, and we're back in the heat of things. Hopefully with less issues, because his BS Lightning. Just keep hitting him to turn that off. So, I have no idea why I have, I'm having such issues with this. 
during the initial recording, I had no issue at all. I guess I just have to be more careful and listen for when he turns on and off that stupid shield. What the? What the? Okay, now I have to wait for a ring to fall down because I will not be able to hit him when he has that shield on anyway. No, ring! And I flubbed everything up. Can't hit him because he's electrified, of course. Because he's being a huge jerk this time. Did I just get really lucky the first time I fought him? Like, I had no issue. Really? And now he's invincible once again. Luckily it's in the top right corner, so I don't have to worry about that. Ah, come on, I already jumped. When's the next ring gonna fall? Oh, come! That was cheap. Yeah. Awesome. This this boss fight isn't cheap at all. <sighs> I don't know why I had such an easy time the first time. Like... Okay, you just turn it off by hitting it right after you start shooting, so that's a timing based thing. And then you dodge this by hitting, jumping onto him, but I missed the timing. You know what? Stand on the left side. Yeah, now that I'm not talking, this is way easier. I guess I'm psyching myself out more than anything. Stay on the left side of this. And... Yeah, I don't know how you're actually supposed to stop that if he has the shield on. Because from the looks of it, if this shield is on on the bottom left one, you're dead if you don't have a ring. Yep, I, even with the ring, it even hit me after I was dead, despite the fact that... Okay. This boss battle is much harder than I remember, and I'm almost at game over again. My opinion, it shouldn't be allowed to do the shield on the bottom left one. Or it should be required to, you know turn off right as he's doing the attack, 
which is what I thought it did for all the attacks, but I guess I'm incorrect and mistaken. What the? That was weird. Ah, oh, he was invincible. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, and we're back. This is... I mean, to be fair, the boss is tough, like it should be. I'm just wondering why I didn't have these issues the first time. Because it was easy. <laughs> oh, and I'm dead. I'm dead. There is no... <sighs> the moment the shield goes up on that mode, I'm dead. Even if I have multiple rings, they don't tend to bounce into me. Okay, I need to stop being so impatient. Oh, actually, that's an idea. I could do something like that. <laughs> I hadn't even thought about using my spin dash during a boss battle. I've never had to do it before. Maybe that's actually how you're supposed to deal with it. No cheap victory for you. Come on. I'm gonna need another ring before this next one. Ah, crap. And I lost my ring. So yeah, it just goes through this cycle, and the problem is that I jumped over it. And he has the invincibility. I did the timing wrong, and I'm dead. <sighs> okay, scratch what I said about this being easy. It's terrible and awful, and God, I hate it. Terrible, awful, I hate it, oh my gosh, this is the worst. Well, I managed to survive that. My malarkey continues. And the shield! Why does the shield hurt me? Alright, Death Egg, again. This is the worst thing ever.
I think I'm actually progressively getting worse at this. I think as I play through this, I'm actually progressively getting worse. And invincibility, because why not? I can't hit him up there anyway, so if there's time for a shield, it's right now. Yeah, I figured he was about to pull that. I thought that I could hit him there. Apparently not. Well, let me guess. And I lost all the rings. Awesome! Amazing! The best! The absolute greatest! Like, you have no idea the joy this brings me! Like, I had so much fun with this! Like, you, I really enjoy this boss battle! I was singing praises during the previous recording session! But... Oh my gosh! I don't know what I'm doing wrong! I beat it on the first try, I think! And then things like this happen! Things that just make me distrust everything! I'm gonna try something different. Da 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 da! Of course, hit on this one because it's free hits, why not? Dang it. Bad timing. And now this one's gonna have a lightning shield, I know it. Yeah, okay, if I stand back here, then this isn't an issue. And I can hit him once. I'm glad I tested it. For science, you monster. Now this fires. Ah, uh, I almost killed myself. Doesn't wear off until the end of this. And the issue is this. Well, I'm glad I tested that and I figured out that I can, in fact, do that. I can become completely immune to that, so that's awesome. Because that was the attack that was wrecking me, despite the fact that I was almost never hit by it before. Also, this guy still has a lot of health. And the moment I say that, it's no longer a thing! Boss beaten! Sonic got through the boss act of the final zone of this game, so we're done! That's it, everybody!
I guess it would be if, as you saw in the background during the boss fight, the Death Egg wasn't taking off into space. And Sonic falls to his demise. The end! That explains why Sonic 2 was so weird. It was all a dream, as he was going to limbo. Or was it? Because during the adventures of uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 1, he got all these Chaos Emeralds. That happened. So, I wonder what happens when you get a bunch of Chaos Emeralds. You become Super Sonic. That's what happens. It's like a ripoff of Dragon Ball Z, but better. What? Okay. So... Essentially think... What's the best way to put it? Um... If you like the Sonic Adventure games, think of Sonic Adventure 2 at the end. Or Sonic Adventure 1 at the end as well. Whenever he shoots, he becomes hittable again. Also, I forgot that that's the attack that hits the up top middle. Alright, whenever he attacks, I'll... or not. There we go, got it hit in. Essentially, just keep collecting rings as you're fighting him, or else you'll run out of supersonic form. So this form's really easy to hit. But you're not going to get many hits, because you're spinning. I'm really glad that when he's attacking in this mode, he doesn't have his shield on, or else I'd be dead. I would be complete dead. Now he fires in the top middle. No, he fires in the... If he was down further, he'd fire in the top middle. He just fires through the middle. Oh, uh, crap. I actually need rings. There we go. That's it, guys. Using the power of Supersonic, we prevail. The Chaos Emeralds save the day, even though we never gathered them in this game. We just had them. I like how Eggman just kind of flew away burnt. All the Chaos Emeralds ran out of power. And we'd be dead if it wasn't for Tails stealing Sonic's plane. That's the tornado. And this is setting up the events to Sonic the Hedgehog 2, where he ends up landing on... I... Where does he end up landing? Is this Green Hill Zone? Because I think Sonic 3 is on Angel Island. I don't know. <laughs> We're here, though, at the credit sequence, finally. Game overall design is by Sonic Team, as well as Lake uh, Feppard. Lake Feppard, I believe, is the guy who actually did all this, who is, like, the main guy in uh, charge of everything? Yeah. He did the story, level design, the engine was done by a lot of people. Graphics were done by Sonic, Nintendo, and Lake Feppard. This fan game was amazing. <laughs> I loved it. It It is the only 2D Sonic game that I have ever completed. It is a great game. If any of you are into the 2D Sonic games, if you haven't played this game, you need to. Honestly, this is one of my favorite, like, 2D platformers. Well, not one of my favorite 2D platformers. What's the best way to put it? I think it's the best 2D Sonic game. I just flat out have to say that, in my opinion. I think that it is very well done. There are, of course, minor glitches and hiccups here and there. But this is a fan game. This is built from the ground up. And it is amazing. The guy who did this just... Just... Well done, man. I'm really glad you did this 2012 release of this, because 
I've seen little bits of the original one and it was pretty good. It didn't have the soundtrack though, and I think the soundtrack really made me love it even more. So, guys, with this, I'm going to actually stop here. Actually, I would stop here, but I just thought of something. What to talk about for what's well, for the next time we do things. As I mentioned during one of the previous sessions, or not sessions, but one of the previous levels, I will be doing Lisa. I, well, I've already done Lisa the first, and it will be going up soon once I finish out, like, figuring out how to edit. And besides that, I do have a couple of ideas for games I'm going to be playing soon. One game, I know everyone's done it at this point, and I know everyone, everyone has seen the game already, but I haven't. I've kept myself blind, despite the fact that I'm so excited for this game, Undertale. I will be doing that game eventually. It is a game that I have been really excited since it was first, like, popping up on the internet. I was like, wait, what's this thing? And I looked at it, I'm like, wait, what's this thing? And I immediately knew I would love it. It's like under... Oh, it's like Undertale. It's like the mother games. It's like Earthbound, Earthbound Beginnings, and eventually the Earthbound sequel when it comes here to America. If you, It's the mother games in Japan. I, I just like calling it mother. So... I will be doing Undertale. It is something I'm so excited for. I will be doing the Neptunia games soon-ish. I am really hoping I'll get around to doing Mega Man Legends since that's one of the first games I ever wanted to play on my channel and I still haven't done it, but I think I need to cover everything in the game, so I'm procrastinating until I can force myself to sit down and play through it five times in a row. <laughs> it's, it'll take a while, but I want to... I want to be able to show everything in that game. And I know we're just sitting at, you know, the base screen for when you start up the game here, but I'm just, I'm being me. <laughs> so guys, next time, whatever you watch me play, I really hope you guys enjoyed this, and I really hope you guys come back and watch more of my stuff. Leave a comment for whatever game you guys want me to see play, it can be any game. I will take any game into consideration. Into consideration, I do not promise to play any game you guys say, because if one of you says Arcana Heart, then I will probably uh, immediately start ignoring your comments. I hate that game. <laughs> um, I have a lot of games at this point, and I really hope you guys can give me some good ones to play. So, see you guys next time.